This week on Wardens, Warden Quinn Kuka sees a routine littering stop turn into quite an ordeal. Job two. The local deputy might have to help sort this out. Later, we head to Northeast Montana and encounter walleye anglers on the Fort Peck Reservoir. While most anglers follow the rules, we find a few who don't. In Region 2, a routine patrol puts our wardens in the right place at the right time to stop a domestic assault. The state of Montana takes littering very seriously, and rightfully so, with its splendid beauty. You can actually lose your hunting and fishing privileges if you're caught littering on state-owned property and do not pay the fine. So this is uh, white bear access, and we uh, have a lot of litter bugs down here. We watch for campfires. They can't have fires in this little area. Um, all kinds of stuff and we watch across the river. We have some access near private property. And they'll get pretty loud at night. It, cl it closes at a certain time so they can't be back there and amongst other things happen. So we just kind of watch and see what they want to do tonight. They're definitely drinking so we could ID them. It only takes a few minutes before things start to happen. Let's watch them throw their beer cans in the brush. Then we'll drive around. That girl's just getting done. Ah, she threw it. <laughs> you want to take the 45 minute trip around? Hang on, here we go. <laughs> There's the blonde babe. The blonde girl in the bikini is the litter bug. Now they're going to the water. Maybe we should watch them a little bit longer. She might not be in a bikini much longer. <laughs> <laughs> Operation Litterbug takes place in Region 4 near Great Falls, Montana. What we'll do is we won't talk about that till the very end. We'll just, you guys having fun eating the bugs, whatever, and, or getting eaten by bugs, and then uh, if maybe they're not old enough, you know, and that'd be cool too, because then we can call the deputy out there and get, get yourself an MIP for the blonde. And hopefully she doesn't have any other clothes, so she can go to jail in her bikini. I could lend her uh, some waiters. <laughs> Warden Kuka runs into a snag along the way. I'd love to assist with traffic, sister, but I got a litter bug. It turns out there's a vehicle in the ditch. Wardens are required to stop for traffic accidents if they are the first law enforcement on the scene. I'm just gonna hop out and see if there's any injuries. Are you with these guys? Is there any injuries? No. None? Okay. You guys all three together? Great Falls PD has already responded to the call. Is this your call? Kind of, sort of. Okay. So do you know what happened? Were you in the vehicle? Yeah. He uh, went to back up because there was traf um, traffic coming around. Uh-huh. And he went too far in. Oh, okay. Yeah. What was he turning around for? Um, I'm not too sure. I think it was, it was for that right there. Oh, is he, he must be picking him up. Yeah, I saw him walking earlier. Okay, I'm just going to tell this PD officer I got to run, so. 300 miles to the east in Region 6, just south of Glasgow, Montana, the walleye bite is on at Fort Peck Reservoir. Warden Sergeant Shane Reno and Todd Tryon come across a couple of boats fishing and close in to check licenses and equipment. Hello. So who's the one catching them all? Oh, it's about equal. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's one or two of me. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't caught that one. It's a good sized fish there. Oh yeah. You get one that size of that board, you're doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? I did. 
Good. Walleye? Ten pounder, yeah. Oh, nice. Good for you. Put in enough years of fishing, you deserve a big one. <laughs> what else you need? Oh, that'll be it right here. Uh, take a look at uh, a couple of two life jackets and your fire extinguisher mm -hmm. and your throwable. Is this your boat? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Reno checks the other license. You're from Harlem, Richard? I am. All right, good. What else we need? All right, fire extinguisher, yeah. you got your two life jackets there. There's your throwable. All righty. Uh, the other thing is your validation decal on here has expired, expired in February. I thought that was a permanent. We have the permanent decal, and then you also have to get that validation decal. It's that green one. Oh, I thought that, I thought, I thought that was done. Yeah, it expires every three years. Oh, okay. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to write your written warning for that. Okay. And then have you go in and pick up your... Uh, pick up the orange one. Tryon scratches out a warning while Reno checks the live well. Got a big one in there? That's a big small mouth. Big small mouth. Yeah, he's the last one we got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, Kenneth, I'll explain this to you. Okay. Here's your license back. Like I said, just a written warning. Okay. Um, Today's date, all your information here, uh, boat information, uh, at Fort Pecker Reservoir. The violation is 232511, operate motorboat without proper validation decal. Okay. Today's the date, Todd Ryan, that's me, FG68. Okay. So. We well, get it fixed, Todd, thanks. Thank you very much. You guys have a good day. All right, you too. Yeah, appreciate it. Would say good luck, but you're doing all right, looks yeah. like, so. Some yeah. other boats, let's see you, and they scattered. <laughs> oh, <laughs> close to getting. Yeah, the fish will get better now. You'll have it all in your... Okay, so this is White Bear Fishing Access. We got two vehicles. Region 4 Warden Quinn Kuka has made her way to the fishing access site where she had observed a littering violation. And then we're gonna run and check on our, our litter bug. Looks a little swampy back there. We might have to make sure this guy's okay. Hello? Sir? Hey bud, what you up to? Just snoozing away? Are you all by yourself? Is this your pickup? How you doing? Fine. You doing all right? You just catching some some rest? Just waiting for him to come out here. Oh, all right. Who you with? Oh, I see it here. Is this your pickup? No, it's it. Okay. He just gave me a ride. Oh, all right. Is anybody? Couple girls. Oh, alrighty. I'm just sitting here waiting. Okay. Well, I'll let you go back to sleep. I'll go check on. Okay. You can catch some more Z's. You're not driving or nothing, are you? You got any keys in your pocket? All right. There's a beer can in the console. So I have no idea how we get in there. You wanna? We don't want to swamp through that, do we? I see a trail that way. I got sandals in the truck, do you? Who needs sandals? Quinn trudges right on in looking for the litter bug. That's too late. <laughs> Warden Quinn Kuka leads this operation. She's been with Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks Law Enforcement Division for four years and works in region four. Well, now they're gonna hear us coming. So, we'll get to land over here. Warden Kuka runs into three of the party goers on the trail. 
Is it just you three here? No, um, no, we, we have some friends. friends. Okay. Some friends are down there. Okay. You guys been here long? Um, Not that long. Probably maybe like an hour. An hour. Okay. Where'd you come from? From Great Falls. Great Falls. All right. Are you? Yes. So you're driving your buddy out there? Yes. What's his name? Okay. We tried to get him to come to the water with us, but he won't come. He oh, he's like sun that. he's sunbathing. Yeah, he's uh. Yeah. He's like really muddy right here. So when we came down to make contact with him, we found that there was a minor in possession, um, contributing to minors. You can just stay up ahead of me, guys. We came across a young gal who littered her beer bottle. Hey, we have a couple of uh, things going on right now uh -huh. that I need to talk to you guys about. Do you guys have any ID on you at all? I don't, but I know I, I have my, we can go straight to my house right now. I came in my bikini and those pink shorts laying right there. Okay. That's it. And how about you? Okay, and you got that black uh, pickup with the top off? Okay. <laughs> We're not yeah, I well, there might be, there's a couple things right now that we got to address. Okay. We got a minor drinking. So somebody bought, somebody bought some alcohol for a minor. minor. Did you buy the alcohol? Who bought, who bought your beer for you? Um, I'm not sure who bought it. I'm not sure at all. Okay. You just showed up with these yeah. guys and there's alcohol? Yeah. Okay. In which vehicle did you come in? Um, the gray one. I was okay. here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The other thing is, is you tossed your beer right into the brush when you finished it. And we don't we don't litter out here, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. So that's it. I'll find that's it. fine, but it is a violation to litter. Okay, I'll go get it right away. Yeah, you'll right get it, now. but you're gonna get a ticket for littering, okay? Um, and so I need your ID. Uh, we, but that's fine. I understand that it's at home. I Do you, can send him to go get no, it. No, nobody's going anywhere after they've been drinking. We're gonna deal with this right now, okay? Okay, no, I'm not. I'm not. Drinking. I have that beer and it's still halfway full. Okay, but I watched you from across the river finish your beer and throw it in the brush. No, not that one, the one I, you threw. This is the second one I've opened. Okay, it's fine, we're gonna deal with that later. But the other thing is, is how old are you? I'm 27. Okay, and how old are you, ma'am? 24. And you don't have any ID? No, I don't, I didn't bring mine. I'm so, this feels... Anybody here on probation? Anybody in trouble for anything? Okay, and how old are you, sir? And you have your ID in the car? Okay. Um, and what's your buddy's name that's with you? Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure this all out, okay? If you guys all wanna come, I'll take your ID while you're there. I just, we, we'll have to come back and get all this stuff, okay? Are you coming, ma'am? Okay, but I need you guys all to stay ahead of me. And we're gonna have to come back and pick up litter, you guys. So why don't you just stay up with us? The Missouri River Beach Party is about to get more complicated. Especially with no shoes, I definitely catch it. I will. sister. You're watching Wardens only on Outdoor Channel. So you don't have an ID, but I gotta write down your name, okay, ma'am? I wish that I could. I, I really wish I would have brought it. I feel silly for not bringing it out here. It's understandable. The only thing I'm gonna tell you, though, is, yes. is I completely understand having a good time on the water and not bringing anything. But if you give me a false ID, no, no, then no. you're in a lot more trouble. My okay. first name is okay. They always forget that. Get That's out of weird there. Name, Your so. first name is You hopped in the rig with these guys. Yes, I got in here with these guys. Okay, are you dating anybody in this no. vehicle? No, no, no. The only reason why I ask is I want to know who bought you the alcohol. I'm like friends with her and I'm friends with everybody in The here. guy driving the truck. Okay. I'll be right back. You're going to get a citation for littering, okay? Yeah, I understand. I mean, That's what I'm saying. Okay. And I, I'm going to write that in just a second. I just want to handle some other things. Go so ahead. if you guys will just be patient, all right? Okay. Thanks. All right. Can I see your ID again, sir? Warden Kuka gathers info and IDs from Seven, all parties four, four, nine, and will run background eleven. checks. She will also call in a deputy to assist because of the alcohol involved. Hello, this is Quinn. A phone call comes in. So obviously the guy that passed out in the back of the truck did something that the neighbor saw and didn't want. He said the guy in the bed of the truck littered and he's the one who caused all the problems. So there must have been something before we got here. FG 411, Sheriff 30. Go ahead. I'm just coming up on Dick Road in Fox Farm. I copy. I'm waiting for you. Hey, Nick. Can I have you come here for a sec? She questions this gal about her sister. And is she in trouble for anything? I would hope not. Okay, and what's her, what's her last name? Is 
she she's as well. Yeah, she's also, she is in trouble for herself. Okay, okay. Hey, can you come here for a second, please? And uh, what are you in trouble for? I'm not in trouble for nothing. Are you on probation for anything? No. Okay. Cascade County Sheriff Deputy William Darby arrives on location and Warden Kuka explains the situation. How's it going? Good. Quinn Kuka. William Darby. I got one girl left to run and I don't know, she's been kind of hiding from me and so I'm gonna run her real quick and see what we got. All right. And then the minor's been, she's 19, she's sitting right here. She told me she was drinking. This is down here. She's the one with our back to us. She's been on the phone the whole time, kind of ducking out, so. 744 North, FG 411. All right, here's the deal. Okay, how old are you? I'm 24. You're 24? Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. All right, do you have any warrants or anything else? I don't have any warrants, no. Okay. If you say it like that, what, what do you have? Do you have anything else that we need to know about? I am on probation, yes. Okay, you're on probation? Yes. You're supposed to be drinking on probation? I'm not drinking. Yeah. I have not been drinking today. Okay. Yes, well. I am around people who are drinking, but I have not been drinking. Warden Kuka tells Darby she had not told her of being on probation. I lied. I told her I wasn't. You were not what? I told her I wasn't on probation, but I am. Okay. So what do you... And I'm really sorry I lied to you. I am on probation. I'm just really nervous right now. I understand, and I deal with that a lot. When I ask you something, it doesn't mean I'm going to throw you in my truck and take you away. But I have to do it for a lot of different reasons. It's your job, and I understand that. I'm and really so glad. I'm glad you're honest to one officer today, OK? So how about we go over here real quick? We'll knock out a quick PBT, okay. and, and then we should be good. I'm going to go issue this citation, OK? OK, hey, I'm going to give you guys citations real quick and just go over them, OK? And so and uh, you guys each get one for throwing your beer bottles out. And I'll go over them at the same time because they're the exact same thing. Here's your ID. Make sure you don't lose that, OK? OK, on the left-hand side right here is your court information. I gave you till the 15th. You have to either call or appear. All right, you know the deal, right? <laughs> Take a deep breath. Blow on the handle before I tell you to stop. 334. Oh, you're killing me, man. I know. It's one thing after another. Oh my god, I know, I know, I know. Oh, oh. Region 6 Wardens Todd Tryon and Sergeant Shane Reno have their eyes on a couple of fishermen. Oh, they got one. Fort Peck Reservoir in northeastern Montana is a world-class walleye fishery. Not bad. <laughs> Hold them up for the camera. Keeper. Well, can't keep that one. It's a keeper now. <laughs> well, no. When there's ten in there, you can't keep that, can you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> swim away. Good deal. Took off. Been doing pretty good in here then? Yeah, yeah lots of little ones. ones. Yeah. Smallies, northern. Yeah. Yeah. I mean everything. Been seeing a lot of small mouth. Yeah, I caught probably a three pounder and mm -hmm. good. Alright, I'll just take a quick look at licenses and boat safety stuff and let you get back after it. On Fort Peck, the limit is five walleye per licensed fisherman. Any monsters? Yeah. I have to have a count of them, but you got 12 walleye in there. What? what? Samuel? I don't think there's 12. We'll count them to make sure. Yeah, we can put them all in the net. Okay, I'll just hold on to it for now. Using a landing net, Sergeant Reno counts the fish. It would be my fault. I miscounted. I was in charge of counting. Eleven. Twelve. Yeah. You get the license? Yep. Everything looks down okay. 
That was my fault. Okay. I was in charge of counting. All right. So you guys know you're over a limit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Each one. Um. So you know you can teach five a piece. Yeah. There's no sharing of limits. Right. And it should be five and five. The fish are temporarily put back in the live well. Well, I guess I'll tell you what we're going to do, guys. We're going to write you each a ticket for an over limit. Okay? One, one each. All right. Okay? Um, as we're doing that, I'm going to just decide what to do with the fish. Okay? Both Tryon and Reno write out tickets even though this seems to be an honest mistake, and one of the guys admits it was his duty to count the fish. Right, Lisa. Trying to keep four apiece. Yeah. Okay, so I put six on here. Okay. And I'll uh, turn four back. Okay. Put it on the back. All right. Sergeant Reno explains the ticket, and these anglers elect to pay the bond, which is one hundred and thirty-five dollars a piece. They will also have to release a few of the fish. Who knows if they were trying to keep more than, than they should or not, but, but they were pretty honest with us. They were straightforward right, right there, away. So they didn't have much of a choice not to be. <laughs> right there on their boat with them. So. What happens when the fishing's good, it's hard to quit. And Fish must have been biting for him all day long, right in this area. Warden Quinn Kuka's encounter with the Missouri River Beach Party has resulted in the arrest of a probation violator, but there's more to come. Love you, Cole! I will. Lady who was on probation wasn't supposed to be drinking alcohol or even be around alcohol, so I had to call for assistance from the Cascade County Sheriff's Office to handle anything that had to do with the alcohol or anything out of my jurisdiction. Yeah, the minor, she said she did drink. She was calling her boyfriend and telling him that the cops busted it. How much you have? I've had one. One? How long ago? I'd say about an hour and four years ago. All right. Harder, 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 harder. Okay. A one, three, three. You're not driving, are you? No, I'm not. Good. Not you got her info? After a short discussion. So what do you think? Give her a break? She is 19. Yeah, she's got, I'm kind of, yeah. Uh, she's not a minor. Well, she's a minor, but not a minor, so. Um, yeah, I'm cool with that. The guy who, who's driving the truck, though, he's the one that's kind of like, I don't know where she got the beer. I don't even know if I know her. And The guy that's driving the truck, they bought all the alcohol for everyone. Okay, well, here's How about the deal. All? You can be charged up to a year later. Don't lie to me. I'll just write you right now. I don't even care. Okay. The driver will not admit to buying the beer. And what this is going to do is let me know if you're okay to drive your vehicle. Okay. All right. Then you're not going to drive. Why? Well, you're going to leave it here. Leaving. Well, how you? But it stays here until there's a sober driver that can drive it. Somebody that has a driver's license. So take a deep breath. A little harder, 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 harder. Okay. Let's take this. Drop. Wow. Well, definitely not uh, okay drivable. to drivable. Well, I wasn't planning on driving anytime soon. Uh, they didn't prevent her from doing it. She said that he gave it to him. He admits to buying it earlier. Um, nobody there prevented her from drinking it. So since he's the guy that bought the beer, he's going to get the contributor. There's still one more weekend warrior whose sobriety is uncertain. He's just finishing up a citation, and then he's just going to have you blow in a breathalyzer. A second deputy arrives who will place the probation violator under arrest and then transport to jail for a 72-hour hold. 
harder, 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 Go. What'd you get? Oh, show everybody else what that looks like. He gets to drive you all home. That way you know it's not broken. <laughs> and and why why is he your ex boyfriend? Yeah, all right. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Well, you remember, awesome. even if you even if you buy the alcohol, pick up your guy ready well, on a Friday night. Go get Thank all your stuff. Of course, Thank we're going to get that right. Really you bad bad just remember, I'm sorry. even though you buy alcohol. <laughs> okay. And you're bringing you bring people over here. Yeah. Okay, if you don't hey, stop them from drinking, I got, I got okay, you're magic. still contributing. Okay, so. I know. So just, just remember, for future reference, uh, nobody likes to get a ticket like that. Yeah. You know, if they're under 21, just say, hey, you know, don't do it. Uh -huh. Especially out here. Where you guys have a good weekend. Oh, whatever. Where are you going back to the river? Don't, don't, don't swim try. in, don't swim and drown. Okay. Oh, no. Don't try. Her on. Turns up we arrested a gal. Um, we transported the minor back to her home. Um, we checked a couple of these guys' breathalyzers so that they couldn't drive. One came up pretty good. Um, he was a zero zero, so we let him drive everybody home. Right now they're picking up their litter and all their belongings. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go down the road um, and just park kind of over in the neighborhood and watch that Bronco go by and there should be four people in the vehicle a little chihuahua dog. And if they took the Toyota, then we know there was only one who blew a 0.0. .0. I'm filing my fingernails with me. This is a girl's game warden truck. I have been known to paint them too, at a truck station. <laughs> one, two, three, four. They're still waiting. <laughs> They all did it. No drinking and driving tonight for those cowboys. Good for them. They <laughs> saw us too. I, I just thought it wasn't very good. <laughs> They're still waving. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the Blackfoot River, another beach party continues. Hey! Move along. You're watching Wardens only on Outdoor Channel. Oh, no. Yeah, sure enough. A history of bloody feet from broken bottles on the Blackfoot River corridor has led to a ban on glass containers. Wardens Aaron Berg and Brenna White are at John's Root Fishing Access Site. There's a fella in the black, he's got a glass bottle there. So I'm out, of, I'm out of NTAs, so. John Drood Fishing Access Site is located 25 miles northeast of Missoula in Region 2. The Blackfoot River is one of the busiest rivers for summer recreationalists. Hey, how you doing? How's the water? Yeah, it's chilly. It is chilly, isn't it? I'm sure now that it's overcast, it's yeah. actually. Yeah, where'd you, where'd you guys flow from? Oh, we just came from right here. <laughs> Not very far. They didn't go any farther than that. <laughs> Sounds good. Explode ever. <laughs> How long have you been recreating up here, sir? Uh, let's see. We've been here about 20 minutes, half hour. Half hour. Where are you from? I'm from Sonoma, California. What brought you up here? This gentleman here is my brother, and this gentleman is my brother. Oh, very right. good. A family reunion. <laughs> very good. Well, the reason we came over to chat with you is glass containers are prohibited on the Blackfoot River. Ah. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Got signs plastered pretty well all throughout the course. Really? Yeah, yeah, including right on your way in here. Yeah. Okay. So can I kill this first and you, then put it away? You can kill it if if it can be killed in the next 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, otherwise you know you you're gonna have to, otherwise you're gonna have to pour it out. You guys have more in that cooler then? Yeah, we'll we'll leave them in there. No, it has to. No. It has to go. You gotta pack it up to yeah. cars. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what happened was we had a bunch of young folks that were here cutting up their feet, and a couple of two, three thousand dollar ER bills later, it was kind of just kind of a common sense deal. Um, just because it's a busy recreation area, it's not that way all across Montana. Um, this river is an exception, uh, especially this stretch. 
uh, just because of the amount of people that do recreate. What we are doing. I'll take this up to the truck then. How's that? Yeah, we're going to need you to do that. I'll, I'll run it up. We are going to take it up. issue a citation just because it is well posted throughout the corridor. Yeah. And with you gentlemen being from Missoula. How, have you guys been up here in a while or? No? Like how long? Years. Years? <laughs> how about you, sir? Have you, did you know the rule? He met us up here, About the glass? <laughs> But did you know the rule though? So you you just met him up here. Beer. No, no. I, what I'm trying to get at is why they didn't freaking tell you about right. the rule. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. Brotherly love, right? We were, yeah. we were busy enjoying the day. And yeah. I'm thinking about throwing well, uh, bottles of beer around. Well, sure you don't seem like the type that would throw them around. I know, what happens? Do. Well, no. What happens is is they set them down in the rock. It even just falls over and hits the wrong rock, and the shards just are all over. So. That's that kind of why it is. Yeah. It's not a, I not think a, it's a very good rule. Yeah, it's not a huge deal or anything. So, do you want to uh, bring? Where is your vehicle at? It's on that first level. It is. Okay. Well, we can go up there with him. If they want to grab the cooler. Yeah, if you guys want to grab that, we'll call it up. Yeah. Hey! Move along. Get in your vehicle right now. You step over here. What's the deal? What's the deal? She's my girlfriend that fell off my tube. I ended up okay. walking. Okay. And somehow I'm the bad guy. Oh, okay. Big misunderstanding. Well, when you're fighting in a public park, you one can go to jail and be cited for disorderly right. conduct. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I'm All right. I hollered because I wanted you to stop. Sure. All right. So um, that behavior can't continue. Is the bottom line. Okay. Yeah. So, do you guys have some ID on you? This Warden Bird gathers IDs. I imagine so. Okay. Well, you guys just cool it. All right. Chill, chill. Is there a problem? No. He then runs a check to make sure there are no warrants while Warden Brenna White deals with the glass bottle issue. What are you on conditions for, man? From the court? Uh, I had a uh, preliminary on uh, Friday. A preliminary? Yeah, for trial. Okay. Because I got uh, pulled over for driving without a license. Yeah, okay. The rope. And put it in the yeah, that's why it's not, a li it's not a driver's license I was driving. I shouldn't have been held back in February. Right. Okay. All right. The, what are your court conditions then? No driving? Of course. You don't have a license. No, yeah. I don't, I don't are you not like supposed to drink and all that <laughs> sort of stuff? No, I just can't drive. So. Okay. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> well, here's your stuff back, man. Everything's gonna be cool here. Cause I don't, I don't need a call about you guys fighting. If I, if he doesn't ride in this vehicle, I'm good. No. Well, that's up to you. Yeah, no, he's right. We separate. Okay. He's right with me. Okay. Very good. Thank you guys. I appreciate it, man. Drive safe, okay? Okay. It seems to be party time, and Region Four Warden Brian Goley is dealing with another. Deal with these ladies you had here last night. What was the problem with them? Oh man, oh, death ray attractive. We had to run them out of here. They were terrible. You're watching Wardens only on Outdoor Channel. Meanwhile, back at the Blackfoot River, Wardens Aaron Berg and Brenna White are following up with glass container issues. Signs all over the place. Oh, okay. Yeah, glass, glass containers are oh, prohibited. Shoot. Wardens Aaron Berg and Brenna White are issuing a ticket to a gentleman who had been drinking from a glass fine. bottle at John's Root Fishing $50. Access Site. At the minimum misdemeanor fine in Montana is 50. There's one right there coming. There's one right there. I didn't go over there. There's, when you drove in, there's, there's, there's one, there's one walking down and then there's one right down at the beach area. And we're not gonna have change. We appreciate you being a gentleman about it. Yeah, thank you for being well, I understand. I got to show you the cut of my heel. Oh, I, I believe you. 
same crap happened to me when I was a little kid. Do you have a card? Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. you guys take credit cards? Oh, we do. My hand's cold. Give me your card back. All right. I'll copy you that. I'll get you your citation here. Just got a plate. And I'm writing in in this receipt column that we received the $85. It's yep. an $85 day anyway. Well. I had a great day. Well, well very good. <laughs> Thank you. Well, hey, we appreciate you being a gentleman, OK? No problem. All right. That's taken care of. You don't got to call or do anything. It's all taken care of, OK? All right, guys. All right, you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Yep. And travel home safe, OK? OK. 150 miles to the northeast in Region 4, near Holter Lake, Warden Brian Goley has come across a few crazy campers. <laughs> Earlier, Warden Goley had witnessed these young men firing Hello. guns and shooting fireworks from a distance. So this is just a typical night, a busy weekend night in the Beartooth Game Ranch during the summer where you get all these influx from Holter Lake, the campgrounds are full. So they, these people come into the wildlife management area because it's free camping, you know, it's, and typical here, you got a few underage drinkers. Uh, they want to get away from everybody. They're shooting guns, they're doing this, they're doing that. They're kind of up here thinking they're hiding out, but this is a very, very important place, obviously. It's a fish and game owned property, and you know, the, it's used 100, 100 licensed dollars have purchased this, and you know, the public takes pride in this. You got a lot of horse people that come up here, a lot of hunters. Um, Bear hunters, elk hunters, deer hunters, you name it. Fishermen come up here. Goalie stopped short to listen to some of their conversation. I don't think they can see us yet. Why would they all of a sudden just turn their lights on? Just pounding the brewskis. We're toast. Warden Brett Logan will be assisting and making initial contact while Goalie checks out their campsite and all of the trash. Well, here's the deal, guys. We've got all sorts of stuff going on. Gotta talk about the fireworks first and foremost. Where are they at? Under my driver's seat. Under your driver's seat? Wanna get them for me? Yeah, no problem. Ugh. You guys swear that there's no fireworks here? Uh no. No. Okay. no. Didn't see the signs on the way in. Uh -huh. We knew it was illegal at the lake. Nobody? Nope. Well, you guys were almost, all of you were gone when uh, our sergeant came and cleaned your camp up. They cleaned it? Well, yeah, your garbage was blown all over. I were you guys down at the lake? Well, we were swimming. Yeah. All right. Okay. Was there anybody left here? Yeah. Okay. All right. There's some girls here earlier. Stayed. So, uh, like, the shotguns and all the clay pigeons and the shotgun blowing up the bottle or the cans and all that, who's shooting the gun and the... In here, in the campground. Apparently everybody but uh, Mr. Clint. What's your name? Kyle. Kyle? Yeah. Everybody but Kyle's been shooting shotgun. Yeah, we didn't, we did not know. Yeah, it's a hunting right. area. I don't see. It's, it's in the campsites. Okay. There's no discharge of firearms in the campsites. Okay. Designated campsites. In this place, you can only camp in designated campsites, which this is. You get right. to go there. But, uh, and we do that essentially for safety reasons. How many guys are missing? Yeah, there's more. There's more guys here. Where are they? No idea. Two, at least two more guys. We're gonna, we'll go find Kevin. Are they just in their tents, or? Having broken the law of shooting guns and fireworks, the wardens are not done with this midnight party crew. Kyle is looking at a fireworks ticket. No, not. Yeah, you are. There's a midnight party crew at the Beartooth Game Range near Holter Lake who has attracted the attention of Wardens Brian Goley and Brett Logan. So definitely uh, we got a problem shooting in this campground. 223s, yeah, they're laying there. Pistol. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. So. And they, these guys weren't going to clean this up. No. I don't care what you say, they weren't. Yeah, they're $85 tickets, and it's, it's just not going to do this up here. Zero tolerance with the complaints we've had. Kyle is looking at a fireworks ticket. No, not. Yeah, you are. 
What? He didn't light one firework. That's honest to God. He swatted you know one out of the air. The this guy. This guy. This guy. And I'm not sure about you. Not me. I didn't touch any of them. I hate fireworks. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't even like them. I couldn't see the tree was Every in my way. I, I, I know I could see this guy, this guy, and this guy. I didn't. I didn't see this guy. I'm not sure. Were you the one in the shorts peeing, walking through everybody's pee? <laughs> 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 Every time he'd pee, you'd walk later right through it. He's right. got to mark his territory. That's some right. Grasshopper noodles out here. Grasshopper noodles. Who's <laughs> okay. coming out here now? Logan starts to write out tickets while Goalie continues to talk with the guys. You guys can shoot a drink like I was watching him. And this guy here. What's you up? guys were just slamming him. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do it. You ever heard of the game Nails? So the deal is though, we're cutting you guys a break. Oh yeah. Are you guys heading out tomorrow? Yes. All right, when this place you guys are done, this place is spotless. Oh yeah. Better than when you got here, right? Oh yeah. All right, man. Okay, what is that? I don't know, every beer I drink, I just tape it together. You know, that's like the wizard stuff. It's man thing. It's impressive, I guess. Yeah. It's like a trophy. Cool. Awesome. Send, uh, send me Justin. Justin! Juicy! Oh, like oh, what's the deal with these ladies you had here last night? What was the problem with them? Oh, man. Death ray they crack sucked. Tooth. <laughs> you gotta put death ray and crack tooth. We had to run them out of here. They were terrible. Terrible. Were yeah. Terrible. Miserable. I made the mistake of bringing these. They ruined camping for us. They yeah, ruined the whole God. camping trip. I was so drunk last night, I was just screaming at <laughs> But, okay, I'm a lightweight. I usually drink like three beers. I'm f***ed up. He had a wizard last staff night, taller than he was. Yeah. yeah. Last you. night, I drank I a wizard staff. Or my wizard staff got to 13 beers tall. While Goalie enjoys the stories, Logan continues to write tickets for lighting off fireworks. They are, however, given a break on discharging firearms in a campground, which could have resulted in disorderly conduct tickets. Well, geez. good. I'm glad you guys are nice instead of mean. Oh, yeah. What's, well, no, we'll, what's mean going to be doing? We're yeah. going to uh, get the all we did to do no. right? <laughs> like, no, never. You could have came up here. We I was telling them earlier this week, I'm like, we get in trouble, up. hopefully we're going to be on board. What, what are the like, chances of that? Wardens? And I'm like, you haven't yeah. seen it? This guy's yeah, a psychic. actually did say that. Kevin right here is a psychic. <laughs> There's a psychic against you out there. Kevin Dennis want him. He a silver caliber. Bill Smith! <laughs> What's yours? I'm 85. Me too. For what? Discharge for him? All right, and we got Kyle's ID left, so I don't run off with that. All right. Thank you. God, you're so tall. I am. You were tall as last time I seen you. Yeah, I think I was. I don't think I've grown since. <laughs> Has he grown? How tall are you? Have I grown? Uh, yeah, I couldn't tell you, man. Yeah. It's been a while. Well, you're downhill. Huh? Yeah. I mean, you're downhill, too. That's got to count hey, for something. I'm not, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm fun size. What's his deal, though? Dude. You got like two Is Lindsay taller than you? You got a truck this high and a car this high. No, she's well, about 5'10. <laughs> Rita Metters. That's my mom's name. No, no. this is Rita Metters. <laughs> no, my name's Nick Metters. It's Rita. I get called Rita because, well, can I scream? I think. No. Let one out, Didn't Rita. Did you do one when we first showed up? <laughs> no, Rita, let one out, dude. Right. Are you guys cool with this? I guess. Cool. Okay, so this is from like the first night meeting these guys. Hold this. <laughs> okay, I'm good, dude. Ready? This has to be a good one. This is going on TV. <laughs> Ready? Uh, <laughs> Here, hold this. Hold so, on. This is my turn. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Oh my. Okay, what's the meaning behind that? <laughs> That's his mom's no name, dude.